Hey guys, this is Pyronic, and today I'm going to show you a little game called Spiral Knights. It's uh, being made by Three Rings and in association with Sega, and we're just going to... I'm just going to go through and show off the tutorial up until... Uh, well, I guess, I don't know, I might, I might go a little further, but... Uh, for now, I'm just going to show off the tutorial before you get to the main town and start into the real meat of the game. Um, three rings specified uh, uh, on the forums when they dropped the NDA that they didn't want anyone showing off too much of the in-game content. So uh, I'm just going to give you guys a little feel for the game. It comes out on April 4th, uh, 2011. and it is completely free to play. Uh, in further videos, I'll go into some of the more complex game mechanics, explaining like the, the fine details of s some of the uh, things, but um, a lot of it, because this is still a closed beta preview thing, uh, is all subject to change, so I don't want to do much at all. So when you first create a character, you get launched in he into here at the crash site. Uh, where you are, your spiral knight has just crashed on an alien world, and you got to figure out what to do. Basic controls: uh, it uses the left mouse to left, left mouse button to move around, right mouse button to attack, or Z, and X is a uh, shield which will defend you from attacks. Um, but most people that I know, at least, switch this to a uh, more uh, comfortable control scheme for for a lot of people who, are, who play a lot of games online. Uh, I use a WASD to move around with the left mouse button for attack and right mouse button for shield. Uh, that's just been more comfortable for me altogether. But I, you're free to experiment and figure out what you want to do. So if you've been watching this at all or seen any previews or anything like this, this game. It's a hack and slash uh, MMO type RPG, maybe uh, <laughs> sort of. I don't know. It's it's hard to describe, but uh, a lot of people have likened it to basically a mix a cross between Legends of Zelda: Four Swords Adventures and uh, like something like PSO, um, which I think is a fair, fairly good description. Um, all the all the top-down hack and slash stuff is very very Zelda-like. Uh, although you could also say there's there's veins of Bomberman and other uh, sort of top-down games like that. Um, the PSO aspects come into the way that you actually go out and adventure. Uh, you uh, generally you'll, you'll go out like on missions or uh, diving into dungeons, etc. to to go and try and clear as far down as you can, so uh, there's no, you know, overworld or anything. You you go straight into loading screens for whichever whichever dungeon you choose to go into. I, I think that's that's pretty PSO like and you go up you can go solo or into a party of up to four people and so it's all pretty simple there. Um, if you want to read any of these signs, I didn't think it was a huge deal. Uh, you could pause the video and see what they say. A lot of them are pretty obvious. Step on switches to open doors and to have other things happen. Boxes contain cool things. Coins are money. You pick them up. Hearts are health. And you pick them up also. Uh, an interesting thing is that when you're playing with multiple people, this is a, a fairly recent change, actually. Uh, when a heart, when hearts drop out of a chest or uh, from monsters, everybody in the party has a chance to pick up the same heart and get a health back from it. Which I thought was a, a really, really nice change. It makes for a, it makes it so that you know if your party is getting kind of beat up by monsters, that you aren't all scrambling and racing each other to try to get the scarce health drops. Uh, these these crates here are kind of explosive. Uh, so in addition to swords, sword and shield, you also have a gun uh, and or bombs. 
Um, there might be more weapon types coming later on, but this is that's all we have right now. So now we're heading to the rescue camp. This is where most of the tutorial things will happen. The um, they'll explain a lot more of the game, uh, and there's a basic shop where you can check out some of the inventory stuff too. So there's you know some various NPCs will tell you what to do, where to go. Um, it's all pretty simple. So the main goal of this of the tutorial here, as it says, that the uh, current objective objective is to get to the rescue camp, or explore the rescue camp, which is this place. And then once you have found your way around here, the uh, you head to Haven, which is the the main hub city for everything. Here's a basic shopkeeper carries all the the basic weapons uh, and armor that you can pick up. Uh, the vast majority of of items you're going to find in the game or make in the game are going to be made through alchemy rather than found. Um, you get occasional mail from the the game here that just says stuff. It kind of helps you figure out where you're supposed to go. Um, but alchemy, creating items via alchemy is definitely like the best way to go. But it's also fairly expensive in terms of both game time and currency. Um, I think that'll probably deserve a video all on its own to explain, so we'll just uh, skip that for now. So from here we're going to head over to the training grounds where there'll be three dungeons which will explain various more gameplay mechanics, uh, monster types, strategies, stuff like that. Uh, and we'll get to that next time. Thanks for watching.